hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using adobe photoshop so without wasting of time let's get started then this is my photoshop then the next thing to do i'm going to my file then go to new so as this one pop up then i'm going to print now i'm going to select a4 paper size i'm going to change it to inches then change the orientation to landscape and if you are to print then make sure that you change it to cmyk so this is not going to be a printing because i'm going to do this for a social media so because of that i'm going to use rgb color then you click on great so here we are now still we are going to do now we are going to set up our background okay then go to your solid column then I'm going to copy this color code here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then come over here to paste. Ctrl plus V. Then you click OK. Then, and the next thing now, I'm going to bring my background. So the first background I'm going to bring is this one. Then I'm going to scale it out. Then click OK. All right, then after that, the next thing I'm going to my blow, select Gaussian blow. Then I'm going to input 13.9. So it's already there. Then you click on OK all right so go back to your this place again then i'm going to import this background here then i will drag it up here all right okay then go to your blending mode and change it to add lights then your opacity should be 52 then apply your layer mask then you can use your brush then you clean over here all right then now what i'm going to bring now I'm going to bring this gold light. Then I'll position it around here. Then reduce it. Then I'll reduce it here. Then go to your bloody mode. Then I'm going to select pin lights. Then apply your layer mask. Then you can use your brush also then you clean up this area then go to your effect select the blur gaussian blur then i'm going to use the same number 13.9 then i'll click ok all right then the next one again i'm going to import these lights here then you flip it horizontal then i'll take it over here then reduce the size and click ok now then i'm going to change the blending mode to luminosity then apply Go to your 
opacity then you make it 77 all right then apply your layer mask then select your brush then clean over here then reduce the size of it something like this all right now what i'm going to do now i'm going to bring the image the image of pastor so which is this one all right then go to select then select subject all right now apply layer mask then i'm going to convert it to smart objects then increase the size okay then select your rent angle then you draw a line over here then change the color to red then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then use your arrow to bring this one down. Then apply a gradient overlay. As you can see, the code is here. It is the same code I'm going to use on my test effect. So the code is here. Now, use this setting, normal and the opacity is 100%. Then, let your angle be 0 and let your scale be 100. Then, I'll click OK. Then, we move further. Then, I'm going to bring an highlight. So, this highlight. then scale it out then i'll position this one around the end then go to your blending mode then change it to overlay then ctrl plus j to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate it again then why I will bring this one here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then why I will bring this one here. Then I will select it all. Then right click and I will merge them. Then go back. Then you select overlay. So you can see the effect of the line over there. Okay. So having done this one. So what we are going to do next now is to import church logo. Make sure that you have a high resolution image if you are designing for a client. Now select your test tool. Then I'm going to change the font to Roboto. Then make it bold. Now I'm going to copy my test here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then scale it this way. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it, then you drag this one down. Then go back again to copy your test. Ctrl plus C to copy. All 
control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to select this one, then change the color to red. Before I forget, I will draw a red angle line here. Then I will apply red color. Alright, so now what I'm going to do now, then before that I'm going to group these ones. Then I'm going to make it tight two and this one the background okay then I'm going to import this one then reduce the size then I'll position it here then zoom out okay so this is where i will position it i'll position it at the center of this one so that this light will appear then i'm going to copy my test i'm going to copy this for here select your test to then ctrl plus v to paste then increase Increase the size of the fonts. Then change the font name to Unisans. Make it heavy cap. Then I'll position it around here. Then scale it. Okay. Then I would like to scale it more this way okay then what I'm going to do now I'm going back to my test effects select the gradient overlay now apply shadow so then use this setting here the opacity is 94 then I'm going to make it Hundred percent. Then I will leave the angle at ninety. Then the distance twelve, the spread thirteen, and the size thirty-two. Then I will click OK. Then after that, the next thing again is to go back and copy my test. Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then go, go here, now I'm going to enter minus 40, Then reduce the size. 
then you position it here then reduce it like this then control plus j to duplicate it select your test tool then you alight it then come over to your test then you copy again then control plus v to paste Then you scale it out. Use your arrow key to bring it down. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this effect here. Then you can see copy layer style. Then you click on this one. Then you come over here. You paste it. Right click. Then you paste it. okay so now i'm going to group this one together then we move forward so the next thing we are going to do now is to bring these images then i'm going to draw a red angle Then change the color to red. Then select your test tool. Then I'm going to copy guest artist. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the size. Then go to your font, change the font to Roboto. Then make it bold. Then I'll position it here. Then select the right angle. Apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Then I'm going to rotate it vertical. Now we reduce it. Then position it here. Now select your rent angle to. Then draw a rent angle. So this one now I'm going to do, I'm going to do it as an example for you to see because I have made it on the ground already. So, so that we will not waste too much of time. Then control plus J to duplicate it. Then something like this now the next thing I will do now is to bring this image then reduce the size then go to your select then select subject now apply layer mask to remove the background okay so now that we are done with this one then I will drag this image to this position. Then scale it out to make it big. Okay, so then the second one. So the second image is this one.
then reduce the size then take it up here so something like this now what you will do now as it is then just wash carefully let me zoom in okay let me zoom in now this way so that you can see it all right then i'm going to convert this to smart objects okay then hold your control key then while you click on this rectangle then go back to this image then you apply a layer mask okay so you can see how it is now then select your brush or press b using your keyboard then i'm going to reduce the size of my brush something like this then make sure that this place is white all right then you can see how small my brush is then i'm going to clean it here I'm going to clean it here then why i will come here then i'm going to clean it gently because i don't want the the color of the shades then to appear so i'm going to do it gently okay so something like this so the hair you can see the hair now all right then we move to the second one so you did the same thing hold your control key while you click on this rectangle then apply layer mask to the image now control z why i do i make that control z because i want to bring this image back i want to bring this image back a little as in something like this is okay then hold your control key while you click here then apply layer mask to the image select your brush again now then you click here to remove the hair so you do it gently so that you not go outside of the box so something like this so when you are done then the next thing is to select your rent angle then you go to the image then you go to the image of the first one then you draw a rent angle you draw a rent angle like this then i'm going to apply a black background color now ctrl plus j to duplicate this one then while you take it up then you drag it here then you input their name under this black rectangle i mean inside the black rectangle so that is it now i'm going to remove this one because i have it here already then i'm going to bring it to this place all right so so that it will reduce us time then import it over here then we allow it to load so now you can see then also as you can see i'm going to remove this guest artist which i earlier did then you scale the size then okay
okay so everything is back now then use your arrow key to bring it down so after you are done with this one the next thing again to do then select your rent angle again then i'm going to zoom in Then I will draw a rent angle here. Then change the color to red. So having changed the the color so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to select my test tool then and copy the dates ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste Then select this one here. Then come over here. Then you apply superscript. Then drag it here. Then reduce, remove the character spacing to zero. Okay, then select a rent angle to draw a rent angle line here. And apply then you leave it at this white color. Then use your arrow key then to move this right angle up. Then also your test. Then go back to your test again and copy time. Now duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you drag it up. Then hold your shift key while you move it over here select your test to ctrl plus a to alight then ctrl plus v to paste then you click ok so here is dates and time okay so after this one now then we move to the location then reduce the size then copy your location ctrl plus c select your test to then ctrl plus v to paste then you change the color to black Then go back to your time and dates. Then I'm going to change the color to black. Then 
then control okay now this red i'm going to change it i'm going to change the color so what i'm going to do now then i'll right click then and i'm going to paste the layer style i have on this one so you can see this is what we have now then the rent angle I'm going to change the color to red then use your arrow key while you move it to the center okay so now that we have it this way so what we are going to do now then i'm going to bring my light effects then i'll drag this one down no, that is up. Then I'll position it here. Then bring it in here. Okay, then this light effect now. Then change the color to, I mean the blending mode to screen. Then you position it here. Then apply layer mask. Select your brush. Then increase the size of your brush. Why I'm going to clean over here. okay so now that you are done with this one this is my location then the last thing now to do i'm going to bring these lights Then I'll position this light around here. Then go to your blending mode. Then change it to divide. Reduce it. Something like this. So you can position it at any location you want. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then I'll bring this one around here. Then I'll duplicate it again, Ctrl plus J. Then I'll bring this one around here. something like this okay now select it and group it So, 
that is all for the tutorial please thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe like and share